we're back on the road kicking off a new travel series. This time, we're going to be visiting as many Florida Springs as possible, going in search of some interesting wildlife, meeting up with more van life friends, and as always, sharing how we do life on the road on a low budget. We hope you'll join us for the ride. Ready to see some wildlife? Let's do it. All right, let's go. We're at Leonia Preserve to see the scrub jays in Volusia County. I love the scrub jays, so hopefully we'll see a bunch here. We've got three different trails. I think we're just going to go to the beginning, not do the whole big trail, and we'll see what we can see. If you follow along on our channel, you know that I love scrub jays. The Florida scrub jays are only found here in Florida. Uh, one of the things that's neat about them is their personality. They're very inquisitive, so they interact sometimes with people, especially here at this preserve. Uh, I know a few people who the birds have actually landed on their head, so I'm hoping that'll be the case today. It's also nesting season, so I don't know if their behavior is different during nesting season, but we'll find out. Maybe we'll see some babies. So we're here where all the trails start. We have a friend who told us that this was a good spot for finding the scrub jays where they landed on her hat. So I was hoping to see some. I haven't seen it yet, so we're going to walk down the trail just a little bit. We haven't seen any yet. I really hope we see some, and I'm really hoping some will land on my head. Anybody know the call for a blue jay? A blue jay? What are we looking for? Florida scrub jay. Oh, scrub jay. Ha ha ha! Come here! Come here! Coco! 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 So we're checking out the Merlin app. I don't know how well you can see that screen, but it's showing that what we're seeing. A white-eyed vireo and an eastern towhee. I think I saw the eastern towhee in the bushes, but I couldn't get close. Yeah, I just don't see any around. I keep seeing these uh, blue markers in the tree. And it gets me excited because the scrub jays are bright blue. I keep thinking I see a scrub jay, but it's just these little markers. Well, that's disappointing. We did the loop. We didn't see any scrub jays. I thought for sure we'd see them. All the pictures that people have shared, seems like they find them. But I have one friend that did say it's kind of hit or miss. Um, Steve hurt his back a little bit the other day. So he's heading back to the van. I'm just going to walk around a little bit here in this front area and see if I can see any before we go. I might have to concede defeat. But we are heading to Blue Springs State Park next, which we've been there before and seen the blue, uh, the scrub jays. So hopefully we'll see some there. The other thing that people have been seeing here lately is some, I think it's called Blue Sky Lupin. And the seeds, it takes like years, they're dormant before they bloom. And then it takes three years before it starts blooming fully. I saw pictures on the Facebook page for this area of the flower, but I haven't seen it anywhere here. And look, there are hills in Florida. There's one. All right, well, I'm officially conceding defeat. No scrub jays this morning. Guess it's time to head back to the van. All right, well, here's Steve. I guess he didn't make it back to the van. Hey. Hey, did you see anything? No. <laughs> I did. Where did you see something? Actually, he's right over there. Seriously? Yeah. Doesn't that figure? This happened the last time that I was here, or not here, but looking for the scrub jays. Where is he? Pretty much straight ahead. Put your finger in. Where is right, he? Right, right about there. In that tree? Uh-huh. He's, you'll see him. Straight ahead. Oh, that's funny. There's two of them. All right. The other one went. Well, let's go check it out. Doesn't that figure? 
Oh, there he is. I see him. You have to get some pictures. There he is. Up on a tree branch. Hey, little guy. Our girl. Aren't you pretty? Alright, I gotta get some pictures now. to the van to get out of our walking shoes. We're going to get water bottles that we're going to refill. We're going to head in the library since it's right here. That's really convenient. Going to get cooled off, refill water, and do a little work on the computer. So we've learned our lesson here at the library. We got sick when we were in the Keys, at Key West, because of the library there. Everybody was coughing. So we wiped down the table, and you can tell they don't wipe it down at all. It's grimy. I've been getting a little work done. Let's see what Steve's up to. Let's see what Steve's looking at. All right, just got to the van. Steve's still in the library because we're trying to take advantage of the Wi-Fi to back up all of our numerous video and photo files. So while he's doing that, I'm going to make some lunch chance for stuff falling out when you open the fridge. Making up some ham sandwiches because it's quick and easy. Because we have places to go, things to do. Alright, and there we go. That one's for me, and this one's for Steve. And look, here comes Steve. Perfect timing. Lunch is ready. All right. And look, it's the gray cat. Hey, little lady gray. What you doing up there, huh? Waking up from your nap? Waking up from your nap, baby? All right, Steve's on cleanup duty now. He's the cleanup crew. Always. <laughs> Pretty much, huh? Yep. Our next stop is somewhere we've been before. But, we're going there for a very special reason. We're going to look for fireflies. So, Blue Spring State Park, for just a few week period of time in the spring, opens up the park at night for firefly season. Now, growing up up north, there were fireflies there, but in Florida, I didn't even know we had fireflies, and we don't in the south. But here, I guess because of the location and the conditions, there's a different kind of firefly, and there are supposed to be lots and lots of them. So we're going to go check it out. I don't know how much we'll be able to show you because of taking video at night, but we're going to try. And we'll have to see how it compares fireflies down here and up north, because we've never seen, we've never paid to see fireflies up north, but we're going to actually pay tonight to see fireflies. We'll find out if it's worth it or not. <laughs> I love fireflies. Alright, we're here. Fireflies! Woohoo! Alright. What you got there, Steve? New annual park pass. And look how pretty it is. And does anyone notice anything new about Steve? 
Hmm. Did he color his hair? Not get yet. A, get a piercing. Not yet. Hmm. Tattoo? Nope. Look, he's got new glasses. What do you think? Do I look more smarter? SMRT. ER. We're just walking around checking things out a little bit. We have been here just a few months ago and showed that to you guys, so we're not going to do too much here today. But the difference at this time of the year is that the manatees are now gone and you can kayak and swim in the spring here. But I can guarantee this guy's not going to be swimming, are you? I might dip my toes in there. I That's bet, about it. I bet he won't even do that. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who may have noticed, I'm walking a little gingerly. <laughs> gingerly. I have not pooped my pants. I just hurt my back a few days ago trying to play basketball. And it's a doozy. It's going to take a little bit for this to straighten itself out. So that means we're probably not going to do too much hiking or kayaking the next few days. Gotta get the old guy healed up. We'll see how cold it is. I'm gonna guess it's 72 degrees. Not that bad. He's a wicked. Oh, that's really nice. You don't think it's really cold? Cold enough for me. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Gimpy. You can do it. You can do it. Should I carry you? Yep. He made it. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I've been better. It's tender. <laughs> Man. Oh, so funny. I'm not just doing it for the camera either. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor guy. Time to get dinner ready. I actually had a nap. I was pretty tired. And now we're making a new meal that we have not made in the van before. Wonton soup. Uh, cut up some green onions. Pretty simple meal. It's just chicken broth, wontons, green onions, and I think in the past I've used a little bit of Tabasco sauce to give it a little bit of spice. Here you go. Mmm. Thank you. How is the soup of wonton? It's hot. Just like the cook. <laughs> He's trying to get more brownie points again, guys. We're parked here right next to the woods, and there's these two owls that have been talking to each other, and then one of them just started making that crazy noise. It's too bad we can't see them. You guys hear this? There are two owls that have been talking to each other and then one of them was making that crazy noise. Alright, I'm walking into the woods a little bit to see if I can see any of them. But there's not much of a trail here. It's almost time for fireflies. We had to go and get this little permit. $14 a vehicle. You can fit as many people as you want. So you can cram a whole van full. 
it starts in a little bit. We all have to meet kind of in the same spot over by the springs on the boardwalk. And we're hoping we can get some good footage. I've been researching how to do night photography. We'll see how it goes. So you're not supposed to use bug spray, which we don't even use ever anyway. Um, but the bug spray hurts the fireflies. So the mosquitoes might be really bad. That's why I'm wearing long sleeves and pants. Hopefully that'll keep the uh, mosquitoes at bay a little bit at least. All right, we're on our way to see the fireflies. If we don't see any, we can just add them in later in post-production. We'll just film all black and then add little glow dots. You guys won't know the difference. Waiting the dragonflies and the fairies. right next to the speedway. Daytona 500 track. So we're getting settled in here at the Cracker Barrel tonight, our usual. What do you think? Was it worth $14 to see fireflies? I'm gonna say a resounding no. <laughs> I'm gonna say I would give that like one van that experience. Uh, I would say, if you've never seen fireflies before in your life, I still wouldn't go. <laughs> and I would say maybe it's worth it then. But I grew up seeing fireflies up north, and that's an amazing experience if you're out in the country, like at a farm or the lake or something. When I read about this event, I just thought there were going to be fireflies everywhere. That was not the case. <laughs> um... We got up there, walked up the path, and there were a lot of people, and then there just weren't many fireflies. But there were some. It was nice to see them. It was a it was a beautiful evening. Temperature was great, but yeah, we I think the way it was sold was oh, it's going to be like Christmas lights. Yeah. As far as the amount of fireflies everywhere, and Magical. there were there were just a handful here and there. So yeah. yeah. So, I don't know if it would have made a difference if we were there a little bit earlier in the season. It's just uh, two or three weeks long, I think. We were at the tail end of it. I think this coming weekend's the last one, but I would say not worth it. So, we did get the Florida Park Pass today. That's definitely worth it. We calculated how much we spent this last year, and we saved um, a decent amount of money doing that. And I think if we hadn't had that, we wouldn't have gone to the state parks like we have because we're usually too cheap. But because we've already paid for the pass, we go a lot more often. Just uh, my only advice with the park pass, if you can, try to get it at the beginning of the month. That way you get all of that month plus throughout the entire year. So basically you get 13 months for the price of 12. But today's the last day of the month. So right. we. <laughs> but for us it probably doesn't matter because I think we'll just keep getting it every year anyway. But... So we got that. I would say overall today was a bust though. It was a nice day, but nothing to write home about. You win some, you lose some. I really had my expectations high for the fireflies and for the scrub jays at the preserve after seeing the pictures and things of them landing on people's heads. I thought for sure, oh, I'll have a scrub jay land on my head. I was lucky to even see two scrub jays, but at least I saw those two scrub jays. So whatever. It was still a nice day. Got yep. to explore and hang out and relax, get some work done. So tomorrow we're going to do some more exploring. We are north of Orlando right now. We're going to head a little bit 
northeast toward the beach area along the coast. Maybe check out a state park over there, get some more work done at the library, and then keep on going. So we'll catch you in the morning.